For I received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brothers, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. If any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest I will set in order when I come. Would we please stand as we read our church covenant together? If you if you can stand. Having been led as we believe by the Spirit of God to receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior and on the profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we do now in the presence of God, angels in this assembly, most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort to promote its prosperity and spirituality, to sustain its worship, ordinances, discipline, and doctrines, to contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expansions of the church, and the relief of the war, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotion, to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindred and acquaintances, to walk circumspectly in the world, to be just in our dealings, faithful in our engagements, and exemplary in our deportment, to avoid all tattling, backbiting, and excessive anger, to abstain from the sale and abuse of intoxicating drinks as a beverage, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. We further engage to watch over one another in a brotherly love, to remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy and feeling and courtesy and speech, to be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation, and mindful of the rules of our Savior, to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will as soon as possible unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant and the principles of God's word. You may be seated. God's faith wants us to follow what we do. On which the prince
blessed us. And you've given to us a new perspective. And we're grateful that on this first Sunday of this new year, of this new decade, we can come to the house of prayer. And we can receive from your table to remember and to commemorate what you did in order to set us free. Father, we pray that you would bless now these elements, the bread which symbolizes your open body, the fruit of the cup which symbolizes your shed blood. And Father, as we partake of the bread and as we partake of the cup, may deep down within our souls we shout hallelujah. For we recognize that our Lord is coming soon. Bless now. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.
silence as we stand or sit before our God. In our hearts, we want to express the depth of our gratitude for what He has done and what He is doing and for what He will do in our lives. Spend some time in the presence of the Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The bread symbolizes his body broken for us. Eat of it. The fruit of the cup. Somebody once says that your religion is too bloody. My response was without the blood. I wouldn't have a religion. The fruit of the cup symbolizes his shed blood, shed for the remission of his sins. He says, as often as you do this, you do show forth my death and suffering till I come again. Drink ye all of it. I know it was the blood. <laughs> Sunroom in the Family Life Center at the end of service. <laughs> 